Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, April the 1st. A lot of amazing things happen on April the 1st. Who remembers? Just letting the horses out and the girls are on their way. But there is something so peaceful on a spring day, being down here when it's so quiet and all you can hear are birds. I forgot Sam said that last night it was so windy he had to lock that door. Sometimes it blows open, so I have to go all the way around. Sylvie just said, you have to hurry up so you can unlock my door. <laughs> because she does not want to go all the way around. Oh, he even put shavings in front. Yes, I know, Penny Pickle. Ugh. These suckers are heavy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? Boo! <laughs> Why is that there? Oh! So uh, today, I'm oh, sorry, Pen. Today we are meeting our chiropractor at the barn. Early in the morning, we have to be there for like 8 30 so we can get the horses in so they can all get chiropractored. I've heard people tell me in the past, or I've seen people say, like, if your horses, I've seen even people who say they're like experienced equine professionals. If you need your horse to be chiropractic or massaged every month, then there's a problem. <laughs> well, what I believe is that if your kids are riding your horses and your kids are not experienced and they're not perfect at riding <laughs> and they make mistakes, then it's fair to have your horses massaged and adjusted as often as you like to kind of reset the negative stuff that happens during a ride. I feel like, and if you can do it, then that's great. If you can't do it, then that's great too. And not all horses need it. And I think out of all of our horses, the only one who like really, really needs it is let her in. Out of all of our horses that actually need it, it's who? who which one of our horses actually need chiropractor? You know yeah, because he's a really long-backed horse, and I think he appreciates it the most. Also, that's just us. Like, not everybody does it, and not everybody has to do it, and you can ride your horse and not be perfect at it, and your horse still be fine. We do it because it makes us feel good, knowing that we're, like, making them feel good often. Just like if we were to get a massage or go to the chiropractor, I just, we like to do it as a way to compensate for any mistakes that we make under saddle and keep our horses moving okay and that's why we do it. And it's not about if your horse has to have it, there's a problem. We do it out of kindness. Hopefully that makes sense. My pony is brushed this morning, sort of. <laughs> and we're ready to go. Guess what's different about me? You have pajama pants on. No. You have Straight hair. No. brushed hair. They are supposed to guess. So oh, put sorry. all your guesses out. Okay, sorry. So guess what's different about Okay, me. what's different about Sophie? Don't guess any of the guesses we already guessed. You're cutting those out. I don't want to cut them out because they're funny. But put beeps. Okay. <laughs> oh, tell them what you did differently last night before you went to bed. Um, I got her to break my hair. So she had her shower and then I braided her hair and then do a twirl. When I braid my hair, it gets greasy. You oh. braid your hair, it gets greasy? When I sleep with it. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, sister. You are not a ballerina. You're right. I'm an equestrian. <laughs> yeah, you are an equestrian. That makes me want to ask you guys. Do you know what you do well? Like, what do you do well? Do, is it like, what is it? Like, what do you do well? Like, people think that what you do well, what God made you to do in this world, has to be something big. Like, you have to be, like, so smart, or you have to be beautiful, or you have to be, like, something that the world recognizes as, as amazing. But the truth is, it can be anything. Like, I love easy. I love easy, you guys. I forgive easy. And that is my superpower. <laughs> That's my only superpower. And it can be as simple as that. So comment below what is your strength. If it's not ballet, that's okay. Listen, listen, Penny Pickle. Oh. What in the heck? You are always a mess. Always a mess. Yes, my love you. Yes. <laughs> She's so confident now, you guys. Okay.
Are we ready to roll? No need to yell. No need to yell. Gabby wears those headphones, those ear plugs. People think she's listening to music, but really she's tuning me out. We're on to her. All right, pen. These are feet, feet picked today. All right, that's it. We don't even have time to do chores this morning. That's how late we are. We don't even have time for chores this morning. Hey, I was the only one who didn't start cleaning. It's really hard to walk away from a dirty stall though. Like, so hard. You just want to get it all done and make it pretty. I was watching this TikTok Sam sent me today. Like, TikTok is where it's at, you guys. I was watching this TikTok and, and they said, like, we have our calendar system wrong. That they're actually meant to be... 13 months of the year and that January that the start of the year is April 1st Oh, it's April Fool's Day. Oh my god. I gotta break my kids. There's so much going on today you guys. They forget. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna break them. I'm gonna break them. Shh. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be an exciting day. We're missing Gabby. I ran to get in the car. Gabby ran into the house. She's a sneaky girl. <laughs> I have no idea what she's doing. None. No idea why she went in the house. None. You're getting in the front Hold seat. Hold this. You're getting in the front seat? Oh, okay. Hold on. She's gonna honk the horn at her. She's an evil girl. She saw. <laughs> she's bracing. All right, we're ready to roll. Why'd you, go, why'd you go in the house? Why'd you go in the house? You need to grab my knee brace. Oh, all right, well we are all braced and ready to roll. Let's do this day. All right, I figured out the perfect April Fool's joke. The problem is, is that when we got in the car, I turned on the radio and they said, it's April Fool's Day and I'm like, oh, darn it. But nobody was paying attention and I turned it off really fast. So let's hope that I can fool them, you guys. I really want to. It's like my greatest joy in life to trick people, to trick her, not her trick them it is early in the morning you guys it is the crack of dawn it is 8 30 a.m clearly there's been some altercations going on in the field because chino's butt is hanging out what happened to you chino bambino what is this your problem no. it's all changed around so brandon's been doing a whole heck of a lot of flat it's terrifying he's waiting till we get outside to start jumping again you don't like the corners Slipperier. This corner is slipperier. I like how much he changes things around, to be honest. Hi, handsome. You're getting your chiropractor today. Gabby says Finn was so excited to get out of the field today. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> no, don't let him roll because the chiropractor has to work on his back. Look at that gorgeous boy. So, the thing I like about our chiropractor is like she's so fun, one, and two, she's like a therapist. Like I tell her all my dreams and hopes and wishes. <laughs> it's like having a therapist come, like I just love her. I, she's a vet. In Ontario, well in Ontario where we live, to be a equine chiropractor you either have to be a vet or you have to be an equine chiropractor or you have to be a people chiropractor. What the heck are you doing? Oh. So, anyway, she is already a vet. She has a horse. She's like, has so much, so much amazing to share with us, and I love that about her. Like, so, here with for a minute? why? So I can grab my phone for reasons. Sure. Go ahead. Adorable. Sure, because he's adorable. You need to turn on the heater. Here right okay, there. Gabby's gonna turn on the heater. I'll be right back, Sandy. <laughs> We're getting ready. It's warm. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Nose. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? He's so cute. You're such a cute boy. Behind the Johnson, it's really cute. Sophie's gonna take some pictures of Finn. He looks huge. He looks so huge. He looks taller than 16.3. He looks like 17. Like, look at how big he looks today. 16.3. 16.3. Yeah, there's not really much hair on his neck, I know. He, our horses hardly even built a coat because we we blanketed them, and they were outside. Ever 
Oh, look at that. That's a lot coming off. You can see the line. This winter coat is just a spring coat, but thicker. His winter coat is just That's a... That's why I had to shave him once, because it was really thick. Yeah. And so I've read that, like, if you... an old man was like, what color of horse is that? Because he was, like, half this color, then half, like, red. And he was like, what color of horse is that? And mom's like, he got shaved. And his hair is growing back. Well, that's good. I could have said, <laughs> I could have said something else. Thank goodness I didn't. But I, so I've read that that it, the more you blanket your horses and the like, more you interfere with their ability to build a coat or their need to build build a coat, that it can make them not build a coat as much the next year. Like it can affect the coat. Blanketing can affect the coat that they do make. And then other people say that nope, it doesn't matter. Wow, look at all that hair. It doesn't matter. It's only blanketing happens because of the light, which is true. But they also say that they won't, oh, she's here. They won't build, that their coat is, how thick their coat is, is determined by yeah, I, I, I would click away if I were watching. the light. You would click away if you were watching someone say that? Yes. Or you would click away because it took me so long to say that? All right, so. I've noticed with our horses that actually blanketing, I'm going to come and look at it. Okay, so just wait. So I have noticed that blanketing affects our, how thick of a coat our horses make each year. Like it affects it. Like he, I don't know how to say it. Like you guys know what I'm trying to say. Gabby's like, they're going to click away because I already have. Hello? Hi, did you get my message? No. About the foal? About a foal. Yeah, we're going to get a foal. Go check my messages. Check your messages. We're going to get a foal. Yeah, we're going to get a foal. I have to go on. Check your messages. We're going to get a foal. If you don't want it, I need to know right now because I told Sophie, you. Sophie. Dad sent us a message. Who? Dad's coming home. He found a horse for us. Okay. Sweet, I'm finding the picture. So... So what is this? It's a foal. The mother died. We have to get it. Yes. I have to feed it with a bottle, or I have to get it today, or else it's gonna be gone. How yes. much is it? It's free. It's yes. free. Can a foal. Right now? Yeah. Me. Are you coming to get? Sophie wants to go. Are you gonna come and get her right now? Well, I have to. I have to get the trailer. You could put that thing in the back seat of the van. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, Probably. I'll have to come home. Okay. All right. Can, yeah. Can it be inside the house? Can we? Is it okay to be inside the house? Like, what the heck? I don't know. The picture is outside. But it's on the farm. I don't know. Well, All right. Like, it's so, small enough so for this, when we can feed it. And... So this. The picture. You see, I don't know how big it is. Just a small little hole. How many days old is it? How many days? Born like three days ago or something. Three days old. Sophie, do you think we could actually handle that though? Yes, I could. I want a foal. Gabby, do you think we could handle it? Mom, it's basically a foal, but you don't have to wait the whole time for the horse being pregnant. Did you see the picture yet? Yeah, yeah. we saw the picture. It's like black. Black, though. Black it's horses. It's going to be my baby. Black horses are bad luck. It's going to be just like him. Chestnut. Is it a boy or a mare? She was like, uh, I don't know. I never asked. Yeah. <laughs> I just said. We'll take it. We'll take it. Hopefully it's a boy. All right. You think we get okay? Well, we gotta go home and set some stuff up. Sam, will you go it home? Can be Willow's little baby. Sam, will you go home and set things up for it right now? It we can. Gotta get it right away. Oh, okay. It can be in Gracie's stuff. So we'll have to keep it in the house then until we can like set up it can everything. Grace. It can be with Gracie. Gracie oh. loves kids. All right. All right, well, the chiropractor is here now, so we're just going to get set up and then... Um, don't leave without me. Oh, you're so... at the bar? Yeah. yeah. Sophie's going to go with you, okay? Do you have to come pick uh, me up? Uh, let me find out where this place is first. Okay. Place. All right. Bye. All right, Sophie's ready as soon as you are. Bye. All right. All right. I'll handle Finn if you want to go with Dad if he gets here. You can go with him. Finn, we got to make the most we can so, in this short time. <laughs> Sophie's getting a new horse, Finn. I'm sorry, but um, Finn, it's a baby. It's okay. a foal. Okay, Finn? Oh, there's a foal. I know, but don't tell her. <laughs> Gabby clued in right away. Sophie did not. No, no I've been remembering the date. I know. Why is this date Last special? Last night, I was like, oh, tomorrow they're going to do this. Shh. Why is today special? Because you make uh, But why is But why is today special for you? It's 
my how many years? Four. Four year anniversary with my horse. Yeah, gotcha day. I was 10 when I got him. Yeah. Turning 11. So Sam, so I'm here with the chiropractor and Sam is sending messages to our group text and he said it's a colt and Sophie says is it a miniature pony? So yeah, she's still really excited. So the chiropractor's done and like usual, she's like my therapist. I just love her. I just like, you know, when you meet someone and you can just talk to them, that's her. I just love her. And now I need to find Chino's blanket. <sighs> See, whoops, we brought stuff here and we don't even know what's ours. Do you see Chino's? Get taller. <laughs> here, maybe I can- Pull that down, maybe. But I don't think that's ours. Because Chino has like an actual nice sheet. I don't think that's ours. Because we didn't bring our zebra sheet here. This is not ours. Okay. I hurry and put our horses back in the field because... We're picking something up. We're picking something up. You want to tell them what it is, Sophie? It's a baby foal. And then it's a colt. So um, I can keep it. Um, Where are you going to keep it? Um, It's a horse, so at the barn. We always had foals. Gracie would probably love a foal. Penny would protect it with its butt. With Do you life. think a foal would even be able to stay in our field? Like, you think they, it would get out? Well, where are we gonna keep it until we get everything Sophia set up for it? We need to get like a, inside. She's gonna train it. Yeah. Sophie's gonna train it. It's gonna be it. my forever horse. Is it gonna be? And it's a colt. So. Yeah. So it's exactly everything that you want. See? All right, get going, hurry up, we gotta go. So we're gonna, we gotta get home. Why, why do we gotta get home? Because we're picking up the foal. Dad's coming to get you, what's he gonna do? Um, you might have to stay in the back of the trailer with the foal. Oh, I'm fine with that. I want to go too, I want my coffee. Yeah, you can go. All right, well let's go. So Sam called and said that he's gonna meet us at home. I asked dad if it's a mare, a filthy or cold. And he said Colt, so that's perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Willow would probably be its parent. You think Penny would like it? I think Penny I think they'll all tolerate him. I think him. Penny would be like, what is that? Yeah. Chestnut bears are better. Yeah, too bad it wasn't a chestnut. Oh, none of them. Yeah, Gabby wants a chestnut mare. Okay, you guys take the horses, I'll clean up the poo. Hey, if you don't know what's happening, you guys, then you haven't been following along. No, just joking. Sometimes things get crazy and I don't explain it very well. But anyways, basically Sam called and pretended that we're getting a foal, a baby foal, which we would never get a baby foal because foals are hard. And Sophie's so excited. Gabby clued in that it's April Fool's Day. I'm looking for my keys. And so she knows and she's playing along. And Sophie thinks that Sam's going to pick her up pick up a foal. So, according to Sophie, we're getting a baby foal and he's gonna be her new horse and her forever horse and she's gonna train him and she's gonna raise him into what exactly she wants to be. I know it's nothing new. Happy it's gotcha so day, Story Boy. We love you. We're sorry it's a winter blizzard and we can't stay, but we love you. We do this every day and I'm still so amazed by you so hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just as to Baby foal, you guys. Black. Well, I'm gonna go to pick it up. Um, I'm doing a TikTok. You're gonna do a TikTok over it, but you can't reveal it until after it comes out on the vlog. It's okay. Uh, only eight thousand people out of a hundred thousand know about. My... Only eight thousand people know about your TikTok. What's your TikTok? Finn and Sophie. If you guys want to see Sophie's new foal, go to Finn and Sophie on TikTok. Penny. Oh, Penny's like, feed me. So we um, have to do chores still. We had to leave so fast this morning. So Sophie. So I start emptying all this. Yeah, after our chores, Sophie's gonna so empty this. You do my chores okay. and I empty you all this. All right, where are you gonna put it all? Arena. Davro. 
Yeah, we'll have Standards to figure out. Standards in the arena. Yeah, this is, we've been using it as like our storage stall, but now we're gonna be putting a baby pole in here. <laughs> so Sam's coming home, you guys, and we are, he's taking Sophie. Sophie wants it to just be her and her dad. But I'm showing, because I don't want to call. Then you're sending in the back seat, because you can just be there. You know, I have to find my AirPod case first, so I can get the good AirPods that are good for in the car. Okay, so what are you gonna name it? It's all black. Um, maybe Shadow. Yeah, that's a cute name. I Not, still, yeah. I swear All right. to God, if you call it Shadow, I'm just going to name it. If I call it Shadow? Well, listen, we let you name your horse Stormy Night, and everybody was like, what? I was nine turning. Well, so. Yeah, I'm 12. I forgot the name. Okay, so. Got what was the name? What was the Shadow name? or Midnight. Yeah, Shadow. Okay, so I who. I can barely pronounce Midnight. So who remembers. April 1st, four years ago. Do you guys remember what we did? What did we do April 1st, four years ago, Sophie? Um, open the door for me. No. It's, got storm? Yeah, we got storm. How did we surprise oh. Gabby with it? He was supposed to come like the next day. And how did we surprise her? Do you remember? Um, Dad walked down to the barn for once. Wasn't it like an April Fool's joke or something? Um, no. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Gabby! Stop! Listen! We're trying to remember about Storm's Gotcha Day. Wasn't it on April 1st on April Fool's Day? Yeah. Yeah, we pulled... I licked Gabby's <laughs> My pulled... hair? We pulled Did such... Like we pulled such a good prank... That is weird because I don't use anything that smells like coconut. Listen, we pulled such a good prank on Gabby four years ago on April Fool's Day. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> Definitely weird. All right, let's get ready for the fall. <laughs> that you're getting on April the 1st. <laughs> you're getting the fall on April the 1st. Yeah, cool. Don't care. You don't care what day it is? Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think she might be sad. Wait, I got stuck and it hurt. Okay, Sophie, are you sad? No. Why do you think it's fake? Um, because David Fool's Day. <laughs> what part did you not understand? It was April Fool's Day. Um, <laughs> since no one told me it was April Fool's Day today. <laughs> until I saw Adopt Me. Are you sad you're not getting a, a fool? No. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to smile. <laughs> He laughed to cover the pain. She's been so excited. Like she just keeps saying, so "I'm so excited for this baby fool." Like we're not getting a fool. We cannot get a fool. We are not set up for a fool. I'm we cannot gosh. bottle feed a fool. Oh what the heck is happening? What the heck is happening? Don't kill your sister. Oh my God, that'd be such a good prank on your dad. Me! Hang on, wait! You gotta wait till I'm strapped in! Sophia! Get away from you! Let me out! <laughs> no! No! Okay, let her out! Come on, Gabby! Out you come! She's giving birth! This is giving birth for the second time! Pull her leg! Okay, Gabby, Sophie, let her out. Let her get out gently. Watch your head! There's like a board behind you. Oh, there's a door. Ah! Sophie, stop! I'm trying to keep it still. Hold on. I'm in the wrong way. <laughs> this is like giving birth. This is being born the second time. <laughs> Sophie, don't do that. I know. Here, here. I hay in my eyes. Yeah, you Oh, I got you! Oh. <laughs> that didn't Okay. That's a lot easier for me than the first time. 